Good afternoon. Around 100 people have gathered for the funeral of a stillborn baby girl who was found on a footpath in Oxford. Discovered in February, Thames Valley Police have not been able to trace her mother, the force named the baby, Rihanna, and invited members of the public to pay their respects as she was buried at Wolvercott Cemetery. Detectives say their door is still open to the baby's mother. They could have been predicted or prevented. That's the verdict of an independent report into three recent killings by mental health patients. The Sussex Partnership NHS Foundation Trust commissioned the review when it was criticised for the way it handled ten cases. One of those was Roger Goswell, who murdered his wife at their home in West Chiltington before killing himself. His family says it pleaded with doctors to keep him in hospital. They said it was predictable and they were allowed my father to go out and murder my mother. And there's no question if they would have stepped in that my mother certainly would never have died that day. And that was very apparent from the inquest as well. They, she would never have died if people had been stepped in. And we'll be hearing from the Trust at six this evening. Thames Valley Police have carried out a series of raids in Oxford in connection with child sexual exploitation. Eleven properties were targeted and nine men have been arrested. The offences relate to two females from the city between 2002 and 2004. Now this CCTV has been released by police investigating an assault on a customer in a Southampton shop. A shopping basket was thrown at the 43-year-old man, leaving him with a cut to his head during an argument at the co-op store on Commercial Road. It's been another difficult day for Southern Rail passengers as the RMT union strike again in the ongoing row about the role of guards. The latest action is set to last three days. Yesterday, the company said a £2,000 lump sum is back on the table if the union put its offer to a referendum. Uh, the disputes are still continuing and uh, our members are still absolutely determined to make sure that there's a, a second person or a guard on the train to ensure the journeys are safe. It's getting tiring. If I'm honest, um, with no sign of any kind of fix to the solution. I did find it difficult and because I was trying to get some trains and booking trains, but there's none. Well, it's time now for the weather. Over to Simon. From puddles to paddling, driving through Europe, Euro Tunnel the Shuttle sponsors ITV Meridian Weather. Well, if you don't mind that it's a little on the chilly side, it's a pretty decent afternoon with some fine sunny spells. Cool breeze temperatures, 12, 13 degrees. Not fantastic for this time of year and the risk of an odd shower, but most of us staying dry as we head into this evening. A lot of clear skies too. It's the north of the region where you might find an odd shower and a bit more cloud. Temperatures though overnight, well, in certain parts of rural Dorset and Wiltshire and Oxfordshire, we could get down as low as three or four degrees. Generally in our towns and cities though, we're looking at eights and nines. So a nippy start to tomorrow, but another fine day, still a slim chance that a shower might crop up but for most of us staying dry with sunny spells. Euro Tunnel the Shuttle sponsors ITV Meridian Weather. Well hurrah for that and if you're free at six o'clock this evening I do hope you can join Fred and Sangeeta they'll be here bringing you more of the day's news for now though from the team here this lunchtime do have a lovely afternoon bye bye. <laughs>